What's going on guys? Johnny Bubbles back with another Shoe Care Academy video. As you just seen, the homie Matthew came by Mini Worlds and dropped off these dusty cooked A6 Sean Witherspoons. And I know what you guys are thinking. These just came out, how did they get so dirty? Well, unfortunately for us, we're in Arizona, so Matthew got caught up in a monsoon, and this is exactly the output of what happens when you get caught up in a monsoon. But no worries, I'm gonna go ahead and get it taken care of. So let's go ahead and get it started. So the kit that I'm gonna be using today is Rejuvenator Signature Kit because these definitely need to go in the wash to get the best deep clean as possible. And for this cleaning, I'm gonna only clean the right shoe, so I'm gonna put the left one down on the floor. Now the reason why I'm doing this one is because it is a lighter color and it's more likely to get stained due to all the dirt. So hopefully I'm able to get it nice and cleaned up, put it in the wash and get all the stains removed. But the first step, shoe trees. That's gonna allow me to apply a little bit more pressure on this toe box and also help keep the form of the shoe. Now it's time to remove the laces. So these are really crusty. So it's gonna take just a little bit of work to pull these out. But you definitely wanna pull out the laces for every deep clean that you do on your sneakers. Now that the laces are removed, guys, I'm not gonna go straight into cleaning the shoe. Instead, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these patches and try to get off as much dirt as possible. And the reason for that being is if you go into straight cleaning, it's just gonna get real muddy and make it even worse than it is right now. So you really wanna try to get as much of that crusty dirt off and then we'll get into that actual cleaning. All right guys, I am done removing most of like the chunky dirt. However, it's still pretty dirty and there are some that are just in the material that are not gonna come out unless I clean it. Now, I haven't cleaned a corduroy shoe before. I know Steve has cleaned the Sean Witherspoon Nike Air Maxes and he said, you know, nothing bad really happened with color bleed. I'm just not entirely sure with these ASIC ones. Obviously materials can be different, paint can be different, so I'm not really sure. So just be careful if you are cleaning this shoe. So I'm gonna go ahead and put our solution into our bowl of water, just a couple of squirts. And then I'm gonna begin cleaning using the soft bristle brush. All right guys, I am done hitting up the entire uppers. Go ahead and check that out. Now there are still spots that are really dingy right here where the patch goes on this side panel here on the toe box up here. So I'm hoping that the laundry system will go ahead and get rid of all of these stains, get that dirt deep out, and hopefully get these looking almost brand new, if not brand spanking new. So now it's time to go ahead and move on to the midsole. As you've seen earlier, I already used the medium brush to go ahead and get most of that dirt off. I don't wanna use this again, so I'm gonna take a new fresh one, dip it into our bowl of water and solution, and get to cleaning on these midsoles. There you go, guys. Midsoles are looking nice and white. They're is still a little bit of dirt there, but I'm not too worried. I'm sure the laundry system will go ahead and get rid of that. Now it's time to move on to the outsoles. These are looking super, super dingy. So we're gonna take our stiff brush here, dip it into our bowl, and let the brush really do its thing. All right, guys, I am done cleaning the outsole of the shoe. All that's left is to put these in the wash, but before we go ahead and do that, I'll put it to the side and clean up these laces. So I'm just gonna dump them into our bowl of water and solution, get it nice and soapy. Then I'm gonna rub them in between my hands. There it is, guys. Laces are all nice and clean. Now it's time to grab our laundry bag and now use this nice little pouch that we have. Open this up. Add the shoelaces. And we, when we go to the wash, we'll go ahead and put the pod in that same little pouch. Lock it up. Boom. Go put these in the wash. I'm also gonna throw the patches in there. The 
and launch pads. The laundry system did its thing, guys. Let me show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison with Montu season and laundry system. There's a clear difference, guys. These cleaned up really, really good. Now, I was a little bit concerned putting this in the wash because I wasn't sure if the material was gonna bleed, but nothing happened. Honestly, they cleaned up really good. They smell great. Our laundry pods definitely made it smell great. The only thing that I wanted to let you guys know are these little patches. This one still looks a little dingy, so if you do manage to get it dirty, just try to clean it right away. So that way it doesn't like stain. Unfortunately, this material here just didn't clean up as well as I would like. But overall, the shoe looks really, really good. Now guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put this left shoe to the side and we're gonna clean that off camera and get it ready for Matthew. But before I go, I definitely wanna talk about the collaboration that Sean Witherspoon has been having lately. Starting off with the Nike one, of course the most recent Asics, and I know he's coming out with an Adidas collab, which looks crazy as well. Now one fun fact that I just learned is that he's vegan. So it was very important for Nike to make his shoes vegan or plant-based. I don't even know how that even works. How do you make a shoe out of plants or vegan? I'm not sure, but it even that, that fact alone makes me like this shoe way more than the ASIC. Now, I'm not sure if the ASIC has that same kind of plant-based vegan material, but I do know that for sure on the Air Max, which is crazy. The colorway on this is super dope. Of course, the mixture of the Air Maxes is, is like way crazy. And of course, the Wave, right? You already know I love the Wave. Now, I wanna know your guys' thoughts. Are you a big fan of the ASICs? Are you a fan of the Nikes? Are you a fan of both? Let me know in the comment section below. I'll be responding to all you guys' comments. Let's just talk about it. But before I go, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm Johnny, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.